Hello guys and welcome back to another Adobe Anime tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the onion skin feature in Adobe Animate. Basically, the onion skin feature is a tool in Adobe Animate that allows you to see the previous and the next frames that you've already drawn on to help you draw the in-between for those frames. I don't know if you get what I mean, but I'm going to demonstrate very soon, so definitely is going to make sense. So over here, I'm going to demonstrate with a moving ball. So I'm going to start drawing it somewhere here and then to end over here. So let me go ahead and create a new layer. This will be just some kind of reference to show me. I want to start from where I want to end it. All right, so I'm going to start by drawing the first ball. First of all, let's kind of extend our exposure sheets. I think one second will do. So I'm going to draw on the first frame. And then I'll create an empty keyframe, a blank keyframe on the last frame, and then I'll draw my ball again. So we have this and that. So here's what I've done I've only drawn on the first and then the last frame. So I'm going to find a way to draw the ball moving in between those two frames so i'm going to go for the middle point of the whole animation which is frame 15 insert new keyframe now this is where i'm going to need the help of the onion skin so you see this pattern over here those two circles it's called the onion skin that's where you get to see the previous and the next frame so that i can draw in between so let's just imagine with this layer it is not it's not displayed and you need you need to know where to draw your in-between so you turn on the onion skin and then you see there's this range that appears over here basically the further you drag it the more next frames or previous frames you see depending on which one you drag so as you can see I have my previous drawing over here if I stretch it to the next frame you see the other frame appears over here in green. All right, so when I press it, it goes off and when I press it once again, it comes back on. So I guess I can go ahead and draw my next frame here. So I'm just gonna stretch it a little bit. Something like this. So I'm going to draw the ball continuously to make it quite seamless. So I'm going to create a blank keyframe. And now it's showing me the previous keyframe. So you can see because it's because the range has been stretched onto two frames trip behind. It's kind of showing the first frame that I drew over here. Now if I stretch this green one forward until it gets to the next one, the next frame, it doesn't show. So right now since it's over, it is going to show the frame. If I take it out, it's not going to show. So this is just to help you know that at this point of the timeline, I'm going to see this number of frames backward or this number of frames forward. Or this number of frames forward. Yeah. So let me go ahead and draw this frame. So with this, I'll be able to know that the drawing is meant to be in between. 
this side. Now I'm going to do same right here. Instead of going keyframe. <coughs> So basically, the previous drawing and the next drawing on the frames ahead and behind, they just kind of help you to know where to draw your in between. So like, now that I want to draw the left side of the ball, I know that this is the previous one and this is the next one. So I'm just going to draw in between the two. And then since I know this is the right side of my ball, I'm just going to go in between that two and that will be a perfect measurement of how strange this is going to be and remember if for over here since the previous one was up uh, this was this low and the next one was this high i'm going to draw it in between that two I'm going to do the same thing for this side as well. He said, one key thing. So here's another thing. If there are more than two frames being covered by the ring of the onion skin, you see all of them showing, but the one that's further behind or further ahead will be less opaque, as you can see over here. The opacity for that one is lower. So if I bring it here, the same thing appears. As you can see over here, the closest one will be the only one to light up. As I send it further, you realize that the rest are less weak compared to it. So let's get it back to the frame and then just add it. So the closest one is always the darkest one. So I'm going to focus on that one. And then the green one, which is the next frame. So I'm going to draw in between them. So the animals can make it very easy for you to draw accurately how the animation is supposed to go. So I'm just gonna take my time and animate through to make it smooth. So basically the onion skin is just helping me to see the previous frames and the next frames depending on how long my range is going to be. So if I stretch it all the way to the end, you can see all the next frames and when I stretch it all the way to the back, you see all the previous frames. So that's basically how the onion skin works. It's just a reference to aid in your drawing of new frames. Oh yeah, and one more thing that I almost forgot. You can actually change the settings of the onion skin if you want. You just have to press and hold, click and hold this to open this options. Or you can just right click and to open the options. Then you go to advanced settings. This will open up this pop-up, which has all the settings that you need to make changes to your onion skin. 
So you see over here, according to the range that I've made over here, it's determining the number of frames it's going to show previously and the number of frames that are going to, that's going to be shown ahead. So if I reduce this, you realize the number I'm going to reduce. Yeah, so you can use this to set a preset of the number of frames you want to review before and after the frame that you're about to draw. So whatever I do here, it affects the, the range over here. So yeah, this actually turns them into outlines and this makes them filled as just as you drew them. And this will help you change the opacity of the first and then the continuous frames ahead. But that doesn't really matter. So I advise you don't really touch that. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing and liking this video if you would like to see more of these videos. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.